Okay, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the process for making stannous chloride um, using 95.5 solid solder. It's 95.510 antimony. And I've weighed up 20 grams of metal. So we've got 20 grams of solder. And I've got 40 grams of hydrochloric acid. Okay, we're going to double the weight in acid against metal. And this is, uh, this is going to make some good stannous chloride. And in this video, I'll show you how to make the uh, stannous chloride and how to test it against a standard gold solution so that we know that our test solution is working okay. So uh, basically it's just pretty much just take your metal and your acids, combine them together. Now you can heat this, and heat will drive the process forward, but actually you really don't have to do anything to it. Um, we're going to give it just a, a, a minute or two here, and we're going we're gonna to see if it won't start reacting uh, without any heat. As a matter of fact, you can already see little bubbles coming up as it uh, as the acid reacts to the to the uh, tin in the solder now this reaction will get more aggressive more vigorous as the reaction goes along the solution starts heating up it starts building its own heat So you can tell that after just a few moments, it's uh, it's working pretty good. So I'm gonna let this work for a little while, and then I'll come back and and we'll pick back up on it when uh, all the metal is dissolved. Okay. The uh, dissolution of uh, the uh, solder is basically pretty much done. Uh, there's still a few little bubbles, but it's because it's warmed up in the sunlight, and I think there's a little bit more activity going on in there. So this is what I do. These little bottles are eye drop bottles, and I repurpose them. For, for what I need and uh, if you give a little pressure the tip pops up after the bottle is empty and you're able to wash that bottle out and repurpose it for, uh, for what we're going to be doing here now I've found that the best way to get the solution from the beaker into the bottle without disturbing the sediment in the bottom is I use a turkey baster such as this and I take a pipette such as this and I cut just above the flare So I have something like this. I take the bulb off the turkey baster and drop this down till it pops out the bottom and then pull it till it's good and tight. 
good and tight on there it makes a good solid seal you put the bulb back on and this gives you a lot better control when you're dealing with certain solutions and, and fine tuning some stuff so now it's just a simple matter of well I'll tell you what let me go ahead and get these gloves on before I get into moving this stuff around got to try to be as safety conscious as we can be so now we're gonna transfer oh another thing it's always best to add a few pieces of solid metal in your bottle before you put the solution in that keeps the solution viable longer you want to stop short of the bottom snap that back down and now you can drip one drop at a time now this bottle will be labeled I'll put a little piece of uh, paper tape on there and label this you'll see that in, in the uh, next part of the video okay um, the remainder of what's left in the beaker is undissolved tin on the solder and the antimony that doesn't dissolve in hydrochloric now the solution is clear now and I'm gonna swirl this around and show you what happens when I stir this up okay so the antimony is swirling around the the solution looks black now let's take a look at this And just like that, the antimony settled all to the bottom and the solution is as clear as water. The antimony is very heavy and dense and it settles quickly. Um, it doesn't dissolve in hydrochloric, it doesn't contaminate the test solution whatsoever.